Flirting is an art form that has been practiced for centuries, and it can be a powerful way to build connections and spark romantic interest. While some may consider flirting to be a natural talent, the truth is that anyone can learn to flirt comfortably and drive women wild with the right approach. In this video, we will explore the art of flirting, offering practical tips and strategies to help you master this skill and leave a lasting impression. 1. Confidence is key. One of the most attractive qualities a person can possess is confidence. Confidence exudes self-assuredness and makes you stand out in a crowd. When flirting, maintain good posture, make eye contact, and speak with a clear and steady voice. Confidence can be practiced and built upon, so work on boosting your self-esteem to make flirting come more naturally. 2. Be genuine. Authenticity is crucial when flirting. Rather than relying on cheesy pickup lines or trying to be someone you're not, focus on being genuine and sincere. Show a real interest in the person you're flirting with. Ask open-ended questions that allow for meaningful conversation, and actively listen to their responses. Authenticity will help you connect on a deeper level. 3. Use body language. Body language is a powerful tool in flirting. Use subtle cues to express interest and attraction. Maintain good eye contact, smile, and use open and inviting gestures. Avoid crossing your arms, as this can create a barrier between you and the other person. Mirroring their body language, when done subtly, can also create a sense of rapport. 4. Compliment thoughtfully. Compliments can be a great way to flirt, but they should be genuine and specific. Instead of offering generic compliments like, you're beautiful, try something more unique and tailored to the person. For example, I love the way your eyes light up when you talk about your passions. Thoughtful compliments show that you're paying attention and genuinely interested. 5. Playful teasing. A bit of playful teasing can add an element of fun to your flirtation. Be careful not to overdo it or make the other person uncomfortable. Lightly teasing about something you both laughed about or shared can create a sense of camaraderie and make the interaction more enjoyable. 6. Respect boundaries. Respecting boundaries is absolutely crucial in flirting. Pay attention to verbal and non-verbal cues that indicate whether the other person is receptive to your advances or not. If they seem uncomfortable or disinterested, gracefully back off and respect their feelings. 7. Be mindful of timing. Timing is everything in flirting. Gauge the situation and environment before initiating your advances. Flirting at a party or social event might be more acceptable than in a professional setting. Be mindful of the context and adapt your approach accordingly. 8. Practice, practice, practice. Flirting, like any skill, improves with practice. Don't be discouraged by occasional setbacks or rejections. Every interaction is an opportunity to learn and refine your flirting technique. Over time, you'll become more comfortable and skilled at flirting. Here are a few example stories that involve flirting and the dynamics of attraction. The Coffee Shop Connection Sarah, a young writer, frequented a local coffee shop to work on her novel. One day, she noticed a charismatic barista named Alex who always greeted her with a warm smile. Over time, they struck up conversations about their favorite books, movies, and travel destinations. Alex's confidence and genuine interest in Sarah made her feel comfortable, and their flirtatious banter soon evolved into a deep connection. Their shared interests and subtle flirtation ultimately led to a romantic relationship that blossomed over cups of coffee. The chance encounter at a party. Mark attended a friend's housewarming party, where he crossed paths with Emily, an intriguing woman he had never met before. As they chatted by the refreshment table, Mark couldn't help but be captivated by Emily's humor and intelligence. He playfully teased her about her choice of snacks, and she responded with witty comebacks. Their mutual attraction was undeniable, and by the end of the evening, they had exchanged phone numbers. Mark's confident yet respectful approach had successfully ignited a spark that would lead to a memorable first date. The unconventional match on a hike. Sarah and John both shared a passion for the great outdoors. One sunny weekend, they found themselves on the same hiking trail, striking up a conversation about their favorite hiking spots and adventures. John's enthusiasm and respect for nature impressed Sarah, and she felt an immediate connection. They hiked together, sharing stories and laughter along the way. At the trailhead, John mustered the courage to ask Sarah out for a coffee, and their chemistry continued to grow from there. The office crush turned romance. Emma had admired her colleague, Michael 
from afar for months but was hesitant to make a move. One day, they found themselves working late on a project together, and Michael took the opportunity to ask about her interests and hobbies. Emma shared her love for art, and to her surprise, Michael invited her to an art exhibition the following weekend. The excitement of their shared interests and Michael's thoughtful invitation led to a flirtatious yet professional office romance that gradually evolved into something deeper. The rekindled flame at a reunion. After years of lost contact, Jane and David reunited at their high school reunion. David had always been known for his sense of humor, and he hadn't lost that charm over the years. As they reminisced about their teenage antics, David playfully teased Jane about her old yearbook photo, creating a comfortable and nostalgic atmosphere. Their reunion sparked an unexpected connection, and they soon found themselves rekindling a romance that had been smoldering since their school days. These stories illustrate how flirting can play a role in building connections and sparking romantic interest in various settings and situations. Flirting, when done with confidence, authenticity, and respect, can lead to meaningful and memorable relationships. Conclusion Flirting is an art that can be learned and perfected. By being confident, genuine, and respectful, you can flirt comfortably and drive women wild. Remember that the key to successful flirting lies in making the other person feel valued and appreciated. With practice and patience, you can become a master of the subtle and exciting world of flirting, forging deeper connections and creating lasting impressions along the way. Thanks for watching.